Is the original John Varvatos a rock star? Hey Fragrance family, I'm David. I'm a fragrance bro. Of course, your best source for everything fragrance related. Today I have a review of this little guy right here, John Varvatos, the original. Now, if you followed my reviews recently, I've been on kind of a niche kick, but I still really like designer fragrances of all kinds. And so I wanted to give this one some love today. And since we're getting into the cooler weather now, um, I really thought that John Varvatos would be a great review to do right now. And if you like these type of videos, consider subscribing down below and clicking that bell so you get a notification every time I make an upload. And before we get started, I'd like to disclose that John Varvatos sent this to me for review. It's not going to affect my review at all, uh, but just keep that in mind. All right, so let's get straight to it. Date introduced is 2004. It's classified as an oriental woody. Notes are fig, fig leaf, coriander, plum, leather, clary sage, lime, cinnamon, pepper, cedar, and sandalwood. Season, I think this is really good for kind of the in-between uh, winter and spring, I think, but it could be used in the winter and it could be used in the fall, I think, but I think this is really great. I think it really excels as an in-between scent because it has some fresh elements, but because it also has some kind of darker elements. It could also be used well in day or nighttime. For purpose, I think this is really great for casual use as well as for work. Both longevity and projection were pretty light on me. I get somewhere around the six hour mark maximum uh, for longevity, and by that point, it's kind of running on fumes. Uh, for projection, I think this is pretty close to the skin, and uh, some people are not gonna like either of these facts, but that's the truth with this type of scent. All right, so what do I think about this fragrance? The John Barbados line is a really interesting line and one that I really like a lot. John Barbados himself as a designer takes cues from rock and roll, from rock music. And I think that is really interesting. Someone who likes rock music myself, I really like the aesthetic that he has. His fragrances, I'm not sure how they fit into rock music as a whole, but they have a kind of edgier type of vibe than a lot of other fragrances do. As a fragrance line, I find that John Barbados has a really cohesive and very pleasant and great fragrance line that I really enjoy. The original John Barbados came out in 2004, and I think that it's a product of its time. It really reminds me a lot of that era of uh, perfumery, which is centered around Armani Code and a lot of what Armani is doing at the time. And so this one, to me, reminds me a lot of that. Armani Code really blew up fast around that time. And so there were other fragrances that were trying to play catch up. If you smell fragrances like Armani Code, John Barbados, Burberry Brit, and some others I can think of, they all have kind of a similar feel, which is kind of this balmy, somewhat warm, somewhat fresh, powdery type of smell. And that's what this is. You get some of the notes in here that are listed. You get plum, you get leather, um, and you get some of the spicier aspects in here. But what I get mostly is just kind of a sweet, leathery, almost leathery, uh, powdery type of fragrance. Probably secondary to those notes right there are the fig smell and the woody aspects. Those aren't very prominent and they're not very strong. They just kind of add to the overall masculine type of softness in this. And I say masculine softness because this is not a very powerful type of masculine scent. It's a very kind of subdued, soft, um, inviting masculine scent. I think there's a place for that. Not every fragrance has to be Fahrenheit. <laughs> not every fragrance has to be Aventus. There's some masculine scents that you want that you can wear easily and you can wear just casually. And I think this is a great one for that. It's really easy to wear, so it's great for casual use, but I find that it's very professional as well. So in the work environment, it's great because for one, it's on the lighter side. So in that environment already, having something that is lighter is a benefit. But also too, I think that it works great in workspace because it just has just a really pleasant uh, smell to it. No one in the world will think this is offensive. It definitely smells like a cologne. And I think that, that sometimes serves a purpose. When you want to smell a certain way where other people notice you, having something that people distinguish immediately as a cologne, I think is something to have. Other than that, I don't think that there's much else going on here. It's a pretty straightforward scent that stays true the entire time. It's a very pleasant, uh, soft type of scent. And I think soft scents are important to have in your collection. I have a number of soft scents and I have a number of hard and strong scents. I don't want every scent that I have to be super powerful. And uh, there's kind of this misconception out there in the fragrance community that if you have a fragrance that is not beast mode all the time, that it's not worth it. And I think that's exactly the wrong idea to have about fragrances. You want to diversify 
your fragrance wardrobe to have different uses. And having something that is lighter like this is perfect. They would start mowing the grass right when I make this review. <laughs> As for compliments, I think that you probably will not get as many compliments as you would with a more assertive type of fragrance. This is not the type of fragrance that is going to wow people. This is the type of fragrance that is going to say, you smell nice. That's probably all you're gonna get, but that's fine too. I think that just smelling nice is good most of the time. <laughs> My wife actually did like this. Um, for one, it's great because she likes lighter scents, so that's perfect for her, but also she just liked the scent in general. It's not something that really wowed her, but she did like it, so regardless, that's always a plus in my world. Bang for buck, this is a great deal. You can get a 4.2 ounce, which is this guy right here, the bigger bottle, for about $30 um, on aftermarket sites, so definitely shop around some, but you can find this around 30 bucks, which is a phenomenal deal. Overall, I really like the original John Barbados. Although it doesn't blow me away like some fragrances out there, I find that I wear the WOW fragrances more strategically and the likable fragrances uh, more generally. So because of that, I think that the original John Barbados has a great place in everyone's wardrobe. I think that if you like this type of scent, you're gonna get a lot of use out of it, uh, just in the everyday, casual, and work type of environments. It's not a fragrance that you're gonna wear to a wedding, I don't think. It's not a fragrance you're gonna wear to a date, I don't think but it's a good everyday fragrance that I think is worth it. And it's a really great price, so it's definitely worth it in my book. All right, so that's all I got. What do you think of the original John Barbados? Do you like it, love it, hate it? Let me know down in the comments. And of course, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe down below. I'll love you for it. I'll see you next time. I'm Dave with the Fragrance Bros.